Happy birthday, Carla. This is Joy Paris at richgirlnetwork.tv at the 102nd birthday for Carla Lemley. Hi, oh. beautiful Carla. Oh, thank you so much. Um, it, it's just such a thrill to be here, especially, you know, on my 102nd birthday. Yes. Um, it's um, a one of a kind, you know. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm, I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to see you and see your thank film. You. Thank you again for inviting me. Oh, thank you. I, I'm delighted that you're here. Those first words of dialogue in Dracula. Oh, yeah. That's really my favorite. Well, I hope I do. Oh, you'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Among the rugged peaks that frown down upon the Gordo Pass are found crumbling castles of a bygone age. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Those are the first lines of dialogue ever oh, spoken. Oh, that's America. great. So today is your friend's birthday. Yes, I, you know the charming story she said to me. Barbara, you were in Vienna, Austria, visiting your daughter during my 100th birthday, and you missed it. And then she said, not to worry, you'll come next year. Oh, it's a blessed night. It's a blessed, blessed night. She was, she is a, ma a lovely woman. And when she was a dancer, she wasn't just a... Uh, you know, she was en point, uh, what, what is it, sur le point. She was a beautiful dancer, and uh, she even gave me a little lesson one day and all kind of tips, you know, about how to balance well and everything, and that's how we became friends. So I was about 18, and she was maybe 22 or something, I don't know, I can't figure the math, but I'm a pretty old lady right now, <laughs> but I'm a young around here. Exactly. And you look great and have a great time tonight, and we can't wait to see the film. Oh, and yes, thank you so yes. much for talking to us. Aren't you pretty and sweet? You should be in this end of the film. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I, I feel like I am, uh, I've met a, a legend tonight and, and I am so uh, overwhelmed inside and, and just, just, just this, there's like an amazing energy around here, old Hollywood, it's just amazing, I love that. Well, I wish you would um, just stay with us a lot longer and uh, be so vibrant as she is today. So you're in True Blood. Uh, what else do you have on the plate going on? I got a zombie movie coming out. I mean, we haven't shot that yet, so it's not coming out yet. Uh, we're uh, starting to shoot. Um, I've got um, a thriller coming out. Um, actually, probably is in sound, is going to Sundance. So fingers crossed. So another movie uh, just won some great. Um, um, prizes in London Festi Film Festival. Very excited about that. So, life goes on. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're beautiful and we'll keep an hour for you and have a good time tonight. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. My name is Matt Markey. Um, I have a premiere uh, of my movie Ricky coming out on Tuesday. It's about finding the right girl that you should should have been in love with in the first place. But um, 
the road to true love can be a rocky path, but um, if you have the right people in your corner, you'll get there. And Ricky had the right people in his corner. Birthday wishes for Carla? Oh, yes. Happy birthday, Carla. My grandmother is a big fan of yours. I mean, when I was a kid, I would never think today that I would be at her home. So, I mean, it is pretty amazing. So, God bless, and um, see so you at the 103rd birthday. Party. I'm with the fabulous duo here, Patrick and... Paul Atu. Of course, uh, Paul Atu. He represents the project that Matt Markey's doing. Ricky. And it's a really, really great movie. I enjoyed it. Birthday wishes for Carla tonight, guys. Oh, that's yes. amazing. 102, and she looks fantastic. Oh, she looks great. She looks just the same yeah. as I remember her last yeah, year. Where can we find the fabulous couple? Oh, Beverly Hills. I know, but tell them Oh, come to my salon, Couture Salon at Rodeo Drive, 9414 Dayton Way, Beverly Hills. Call me, 310-246-1964. My name is Marshall Hilton. I'm an actor. I've been an actor here in town for about 20 years. I was on a Fox series uh, in 98, 99 that shot 100 episodes. I was one of the stars of the show. And uh, it was in 97 and 98. And uh, I took a break from acting just to just to rejuvenate, you know. Well, I'm glad you're back because it seems like you're kicking some, you know. Mm. You know, I'm blessed. I'm busy. I'm working real hard and uh, just trying to do as good work as I can. Birthday wishes for the birthday girl tonight. <sighs> that you have a fabulous day. You deserve it. You're a legend and you're a classic. And enjoy it. You deserve it. My name is Britt Griffith, and I'm from Ghost Hunters on Sci-Fi. Ooh, watch out for the, there's lots of ghosts around here. Well, you really do you like really see stuff there? I mean, I mean, you're not supposed to tell me all no, this stuff. No, no, no. I, I have seen stuff I cannot explain. Really? Yeah. Ghost Hunters, Ghost Hunters International. The only two shows I've been on, paranormal related. We don't fake anything on those shows. There is some odd stuff going on in this world, and as to what it is, yeah. And as to what it is, I have no idea. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you. It's you know, it's not Grandma crossing over properly, because we don't know. But I've seen stuff happen that I just can't explain, and now I travel the world and catch a paycheck for it. To, yeah, go tour historic locations. It's, it's a great job. I love it. For me, it was just an honor to be here, and I wish Carla. Well, I would say I wish her many more, but really, how old do we want to live? I mean, I don't know if I want to go to 150. <laughs> Well, I already heard enough as it is now, and I'm just 42. Well, thank you so much, and have a good time tonight. Victor London. L-U-N-D-I-N. You know L-U-N-D-I-N. L-U-N-D-I-N, yes. Because if you write it incorrectly on the check, I might have trouble <laughs> ca cashing it. So yeah. you had like a Klingon role with Star Trek, the first... In the first Star Trek series, I had just finished at Paramount a movie called if you we'll remember, Robinson Crusoe on Mars. If you're old enough to remember that, it was the highest budget sci-fi Paramount ever did at that time. And uh, the director, Byron Haskins, was doing an idea he had with Gene Roddenberry for Star Trek. So he called me in for a part, which I was a little bit too big and buff. And uh, it was a uh, part of a character named uh, Spock <laughs> yeah but if they used me my ears they'd have saved a million dollars in prosthetics exactly. so as a token of thank you I got the part of the first Klingon my girl says I'm still Klingon <laughs> which is not bad where would this be shown richgirlnetwork.tv which what's called rich what? girl network rich TV. girl yeah rich girl yeah. Yeah. are they still some around yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for talking with us we appreciate thank it thank much. you darling